Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here once again to take your time to join me. Just getting started here. It is 7.06 a.m. Central Daylight Time, June 4th, 2023, and it's Sunday. Two earthquakes I'm going to talk about this morning. The first one will be down by uh, the border near Salton Sea, and the other one will be from yesterday. They're up on Cobb Mountain, California, Northern California. At 9.43 p.m., uh, local time there in Southern California, along or probably part of the San Jacinto Fault Zone, there was a magnitude 3.4. Going to the USGS website, uh, here's the location of the magnitude 3.4. Six miles, it says, northeast of Julian, California. 108 people said they felt this earthquake. And then on EMSE, we got a few reports that were sent in to them. Here it says, uh, rumbled and shown for a few seconds, probably, meaning shake. Slight rumble scared the dog. I felt a low frequency rumble and heard it too, uh, for about three to five seconds. Another one from Escondido, cats alerted and windows shook. Another one from Palm Desert. I thought I lost my balance for a second. Turned and asked, did you feel it? Cathedral City said that their bed shook one time to the left. And then a report from Huntington Beach said I felt a mild thump and a rolling motion. Lasted approximately three, three seconds. Um... At first, I thought the neighbor just opened his garage door a bit rough because I live over the garage, but all garages were closed and dark. Here is the felt report location on USGS. You can see all the way down here by the border of Tijuana and San Diego, um, Santa Monica, Los Angeles, Long Beach, and I'm not sure, up by Bullhead was another report. There's Cathedral City, and let's see, let's go in a little bit. Looks like all of them were magnitude, or intensity level 3, it probably looks like. Well, that one's 2, that one's 3. So, intensity level 3, felt noticeably indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Like that one person said, they thought it was the neighbor closing their garage door. Standing autos rock slightly, vibration like a passing truck. Here we have the moment tensor ball. Very slightly did this fault move from the west to the east. Very slightly and drop down a little bit. This area is capable of having a large earthquake. Here you can see in 1954, there was a magnitude 6.4. There's a lot of faults in this area. And this earthquake in 1954 actually cracked plaster in San Diego. It says at the Los Angeles City Hall in Palm Springs, water pipes broke and the walls of several swimming pools were cracked. Wow. So here you can see we got San Felipe. Um, some other small areas, but in this location, it looks like it was fairly remote. So how did your pets react to this 3.4? Were you sleeping? Uh, did it wake you up? Uh, let's see, let's zoom in a little bit. The next earthquake I'm going to cover was at 5.01 a.m. Now, this would have been yesterday, and I've talked about the geysers in my past videos. Those of you that might be new, um, I had a friend that was building the uh, power plants up there at the geysers many years ago, um, 35 plus years, and these are geothermal wells, and the wells started going dry, so they started pumping water into the ground, which yeah, pretty much immediately started causing earthquakes. 
It was kept all hush hush back then. Here you can see one of the pipes going down along the road and yeah, probably going to one of the wells. Let's see if we can find the well. There it is, right down there. So they started creating earthquakes and it was all kept hush hush. Uh, they were a little freaked out that they were causing these earthquakes. But now they're so common. Yeah, half the time I don't even bother to report them. So they pump water into the ground and you can see here what happened. We had uplift. They probably pumped in a little bit too much water. Yeah, first wave of the earthquake came from, yeah, directly below. It actually moved a fault line a little bit going towards uh, the north, a little bit east, and we got spreading. Well, the ground rose up, put a little bit too much water in there. USGS sent out a shake alert. Initial shaking of the earthquake was 17.8 seconds. They also have a map of where the shake alert, alert was sent out. It says here that the red circle is front of the peak shaking, a shaking, boy I'm all tongue tied, when the message was released. So did you get a shake alert there in Santa Rosa and Ukiah? That's up there in the Clear Lake area, uh, Lake Port, California. Yeah, my son was born in Ukiah. Looks like the earthquake was felt as far as Livermore, maybe, and Fremont, and Ukiah to the north, Sacramento Valley, and, um, oh, Middletown. Wow. Um, I'm very familiar with Middletown. They had a, a intensity level of six, which means it was felt by all, frightened many. Some of them might have run outdoors falling plaster and chimneys and would be some light damage. What kind of damage did you guys have? And then we got intensity level five, Kelseyville. Um, this is all on the southern side of Clear Lake, these areas, um, by Mount Canocti. It's an old big, uh, volcano. And then Geyserville, intensity level five might have had some more breakage felt by most people some breakage of dishes and windows and plaster disturbance of tall objects yeah you can thank uh, PG&E and whoever else is the uh, power companies up there the first house I ever bought was in that location um, it was in Lakeport California yeah they had what's called the plumbers union boy I could tell you some stories about that but I won't. I'll just say that um, they're affiliated with um, the Plumbers Union in New York City. At least they were back then. So here on EMSE, some of the reports that were sent in to them. I like it when you guys send in reports to EMSE because we get a description of what you felt, what you experienced, where USGS just gives the location. It says, not felt in Windsor just knew about it because they got the uh, shake alert that went off okay another one from Windsor says there was uh, gentle rolling that's uh, Santa Rosa area um, not sure what my app says I may have felt this but I'm not sure the one I felt was from the Cobb Mountain area though it doesn't show up on the list on your app another one from Santa Rosa had no idea there was an earthquake on the second story. Nothing. Now, Rohner Park says they uh, felt a little shake and a crack. Maybe they heard the building popping. San Francisco Sunset District. One very noticeable medium minor jolt and a vibration. Um, outer Sunset District. Sonoma County, there by San Francisco. Uh, slight in Sonoma. Another one from Dublin, a split second movement. Another one says, have been feeling jolts for 15 minutes. I thought I was tripping. <laughs> Milpitas says they felt the earthquake minutes before it happened in San Jose. Felt strong at first, but knowing that likely a foreshock for something 
much larger, that is true, could be coming. Any earthquake has a 20% chance of being a poor shock for a larger earthquake. It could even be a month later. Um, in the same area close to a 6.0 magnitude or higher, they should put in a part on my Shake Alert app. This quake is coming today. 6.0 or larger, I recommend. I think you guys know you got a big one coming. So did you feel either of these earthquakes? Uh, what are your thoughts about them pumping the water into the ground and causing the earthquakes? I mean, there is hundreds of them that you have there every week on Cobb Mountain. And then down here by Southern California, you're about... 350 years past due for a large earthquake. Are you prepared? I hope so. So many of the younger generation just figure, oh well, um, yeah, the government will come and rescue me. Yeah, they won't because they're going to be too busy taking care of um, other things, fires, um, infrastructure, bridges, things like that when you have a large one. And both areas... Um, have the potential of doing that. Like I said, in 1954, there was a 6.4. So please comment down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, be safe, be prepared, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye. <music>